about our election a little bit first. <laughs> Thank you for standing with me so I can content, continue to stand for the people of California. And I know, I know very well how hard these times are. I know that too many of our families are hurting, and I do not sugarcoat it at all. But it only makes the choice this November more important. It's a choice between who's going to create jobs and turn our economy around and who won't. It's a choice between who's going to fight for working families and who's going to abandon them. It's a choice between moving forward or going back to the policies that got us into this mess. That's right. Let's not forget it. It's about whether we're going to hand America back to those who took an economy that was thriving and wrecked it, those who took a budget that was balanced and rated it, had no plans for jobs, and joblessness took hold in terrifying numbers. Drill, baby, drill was their slogan. Remember that? And let me say, let me say, as long as I am in the Senate, I will do everything in my power to ensure that our California coast is protected. We have fought, we have fought for that protection. A lot of us in this room have fought for that protection of our coast since the 70s, and we're not about to give up. We owe it to our children to leave them a coastline we were fortunate enough to inherit, and we owe it to the hundreds of thousands of workers in the tourist industry, in the recreation industry, in the fishing industry, not to see their livelihoods buried in a sea of oil. And I want you to know that today I received a letter from the Obama Justice Department. They clearly state, and seven of us senators wrote to them, they state that they are going after those who are responsible for this tragic spill in the Gulf. Justice will be done. It will. So yes, this election, this election is a clear choice. And I'm so proud to have a president, our president, who is by our side every step of the way. And tonight, we have a great opportunity to show our appreciation to him. When President Obama was sworn into office, he inherited some of the most difficult challenges in history. And he tells me sometimes I present it as a parade of horribles. <laughs> but it is. The deepest recession he inherited since the Great Depression. Banks no longer lending. Fre uh, credit frozen. Two wars. Budget surpluses turned into deficits and debt. The threat, remember this one, of a flu pandemic. And if, as if that wasn't enough, even a pirate attack. But as Martin Luther King Jr. once said, and he's one of my heroes, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of controversy and challenge. And it, yes, and in these times of controversy and challenge, Americans have taken the measure of this man. And we have seen a president who stays calm in the face of storms. He keeps his sense of humor in the face of horrible personal attacks. He never stops tackling our most difficult problems, even when it would be easier to leave them for another time, another generation. Believe me, the actions of President Obama in these past 16 months have not only taken leadership, they have taken courage. It took courage to work with us to achieve something no president has been able to do in 100 years, pass health care reform and stick it. Yes. stood up to the insurance companies and we said you will no longer leave us when we are sick and think about what that will mean for seniors who have more affordable prescription drugs and what it will mean for our children who can now stay on their parents policies till they're 26 and think about yes a couple of parents out there are happy think about what it means for those who will no longer be turned away because of pre-existing conditions like asthma or high blood pressure. And think about what it means for small businesses and individuals who will get tax credits so that millions of people, including seven million Californians, will now get 
health insurance. It took courage to do that. And it took courage. It took courage for this president to confront this economic crisis head on and work with us to create desperately needed jobs. Because of the Recovery Act, 150,000 direct jobs are being put to work in the state of California today. And I wish, I dearly wish, that those who oppose these efforts, like my three opponents, could meet the people I've met with up and down the state who now have the dignity and security of a paycheck. I have met those workers, and I will not rest until we get California back on track and people are working who want to work. That's crucial for us. And you know what else? It took courage to stand up to Wall Street and demand accountability so that taxpayers never again have to foot the bill for their costly gambling. And it took courage. It took courage to stand up against discrimination, demanding equal pay for equal work as we passed the Lilly Ledbetter Law. Standing up, standing up against the Show Me Your Papers Law and instead working to craft comprehensive immigration reform. We have to do that. And yes, and yes, it took courage to support the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and I believe Congress is going to do it this week. I believe that. I believe it. Now, I'm almost there. It is no secret that all of us in public life are being tested in these tough times. And we are especially being tested by those who want to see our president lose his focus and his allies in Congress lose. Well, I've got not only my three opponents denouncing me every day, they've turned me into every creature you can imagine. <laughs> I told my grandkids, don't watch television. But I even have the two main Republican gubernatorial candidates fighting over which one of them is working harder to defeat moi. What did I do to them? <laughs> In their effort to win, my opponents have recruited the following. Karl Rove. I thought you'd say that. Uh, Sarah Palin. And if that wasn't enough for you, Newt Gingrich. That says a lot about this race we're in. Well, my opponents want total retreat. That would lead us back to a jobless future, a health care crisis again, Wall Street excesses again, no action on green energy jobs, drilling off of our pristine coast. What we need now is clean energy security to combat climate change creating millions of jobs as innovation will lead to new technologies that are made in America, for America. I want to see those words again, made in America. So in closing, every time the president looks at his beautiful children, I believe he feels the same way that I do when I look at my four grandchildren. We see in their faces the hopes and the dreams we have, not only for them, but for all children. And we know that their future is worth fighting for every single day. So tonight, we get a chance to thank President Obama for his courage and his commitment to our children and to our families and to our state and to our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the warmest California.